Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to first start off with a very, very simple exercise that you could do right now, uh, whether you're seated or standing, preferably standing, and preferably with just a little bit of space. You don't need a lot. And we're just going to go one and two, like this. One, two. It's almost like you're listening to music or something and you're snapping your fingers, but we're just going right hand on top, left hand on top. One, two and put some force in there, get some exercise, and you should feel your arms, uh, you know, working your muscles. Once again, a very nice and simple exercise that comes from the heaven six type arm weaving type motions that we do, that we, we learn from and practice from with the sticks, okay? And the explanation, when I first started learning Filipino martial arts is I learned this technique actually with open hand and we're doing the same thing like this, and I learned it as a scissor technique. It was actually called the gunting, right? And, um, you know, I think what happened was they used it as a disarm. But what I would like to do is bring this technique back to more basic, where you and I, the average person can use, okay? So the more basic usage of this move is not as a disarm, because a disarm is an advanced thing to do. It's a very difficult thing to do. So I want to make that very clear. So instead of working on something that's so difficult and advanced, let's work on basics. So that's a basic usage of crossing your arms like this, right? This is, can of course be used as a defense, as a block, right? But I'm going to call it an armor, all right? What's the difference between a block and an armor? A block is like, let's say someone's punching you and you're a boxer and you boom, you use your forearm to block something. Okay, that's a block. An armor is very similar, but you're blocking in order to get in close, to protect your body right here. So you block and you come in like this. Okay, so then that's called an armor. So it's very similar to a block, but it's an entry tool into close range. Okay, so you're wearing armor to get in close. All right. So that's what this is. This at a basic level is your armor. Okay, so let's view it that way. So now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the cold steel training knife. These are great by the way. So from here, same idea. Okay, so this is your next exercise for you guys to do is to go one and block right here and two, open. So closed, open, closed, open, close, open, close, open. Nice and easy exercise. The only difference from earlier is now that you're actually focusing on the slash right here, okay? And then we have our armor, and then we slash on our way back out. And the hand, the, the hand with the knife can go on top and slash, on the bottom and slash. So you can alternate. You don't have to, but we can alternate. Okay, slash on top, slash on top, slash on bottom, slash on bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do is now progress that exercise. So this is the third exercise that you guys can practice. And, and once again, I emphasize this uh, just because now we're at the third exercise, don't abandon the first two. Go back to the first two and keep practicing those. They have uh, different pros and cons too. So anyway, right here. For the third one, we're gonna slash, okay, the same way, slash and our arms is not closed, and we're gonna do, we're gonna physically do this, okay? So you're gonna slash, physically do the armor, and then slash out, okay? Slash, armor, slash out. So now it's three movements instead of just two. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Slash, armor, slash. Slash, armor, slash slash armor slash slash armor slash okay and when you have something like this this is just a simple stool i'm gonna right here cut this is where my armor comes in and then i cut out and at this point of course i could go into sewing machine right but once again for the for the exercise slash armor slash slash armor slash slash armor slash slash armor slash okay now those are the three exercises I wanted to show in the video today. Uh, and, and you might be wondering, why the heck 
Are you, you slash, and then why, why are you coming in close? That might be the question, right? And that's a reasonable question. Why, why don't I just, because this is different from cutting and getting out like this, cutting and getting out. The answer here is that if I can cut and keep my distance, this is an easy situation, right? It's not as difficult as if I have to cut and I got to get in close. This is a bad situation. This situation sucks, okay? Lots of bad things can happen here. This is dire. This is extreme. The reason why I'm here is because I obviously needed to. If I could just do this and get away, I would. Or if I could just run, I would, okay? But I want to work, be able to handle a bad situation. So a bad situation is going to require you to be here, okay? So that's why we're working here. Um, it's, it's kind of funny because if you look at the Native Americans, their knife fighting method and their tomahawk fighting methods, they understood that in real combat that you're going to get very, very close. World War I, World War II veterans understood that on the battlefield you're going to get close, hence the word CQC, close quarters combat. The people that invented Eskrima and all the other traditional martial arts like traditional karate and whatnot, they all understood that in actual combat, you are going to get close and that's what's going to happen. So we have techniques in Eskrima designed for close range because of that. Unfortunately, you know, in the modern era where a lot of the generation has not been in war, has not experienced that kind of stuff, we forget that. We totally, completely forgot that real combat, we're going to end up in close range. It's like it's not in our brain anymore. Even though we have things like the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC MMA, that remind us that you, you're going to get in the clinch and you've got to be able to deal with grappling. They're reminding us, but what do we do? We just go, oh, that's sport, that's not realistic. And, and it's a darn shame. So the, the thing to understand here is when you cut and you come here, this is the clinch, this is grappling, okay? My idea here is I'm gonna stick to him like glue. That's my idea. So this right here, this is like a magnet, and this is gonna be sticking, he's gonna be shoving, pushing me, and I'm still gonna like, Get back to him. He could shove me. I'm coming right back in with this. But I, I want to use this because if I don't, I don't want to just collide with the guy and bump chests or something because I'm not a big guy. My body's fragile. So I want to wear armor. So that, that's, what this, that's what this is. For me to come in and neutralize, because if I stay out here, he might be a better boxer. He might be a better knife fighter than me. So I need to close the close in on my terms because if not he's going to close in on his terms and you might be thinking well what does that mean if he closes me he, if he closes in on me on his terms it's like he punched me and now he's changing levels and he's shooting in and getting me in a double leg takedown or something and now he's going to get on top of me and punch my face in i don't want that right if he has a knife maybe he attacks my face and I'm going, whoa, that was close. And now he's coming in low and he's, he's coming in to grab me and here comes sewing machine, okay? So I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engage first and eliminate that from happening. So I'm going to come in here. So now he can't do that to me because this is my terms. I'm first. So boom, I blocked him up here, okay? So that's the idea of the armor. So anyway, I hope that makes some sense. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.